Okay, we have a GE refrigerator here doing various odd things. Right now it's doing a cyclical clicking. The display keeps resetting on it. One of the other symptoms was that when you press the dispenser to get ice, it would, the display would go out and the fans would stop. So I suspect we have a failed 12 volt line in the motherboard. And that portion of the power supply likely has bad capacitors. So I'm gonna take this cover off right here where the motherboard is and to take a look at those capacitors and explain why this happens. Typically these capacitors are electrolytic capacitors in the power supply and over time their electrolyte dries out which results in an increased ESR or elect equivalent series resistance. Um, that's, that's a technical term. In effect, the power supply is not able to sufficiently supply enough current because those capacitors are not sufficiently filtering the output of the power supply. Now this is uh, my refrigerator. This was an acquisition. I'm gonna fix it for myself. I'm not fixing this for anybody else. This is for educational purposes only and I am not encouraging anybody to do this. I am only demonstrating the effect of failing electrolytic capacitors on a control board and the effects that they can have from a theoretical uh, electronic standpoint. So I'm going to go ahead and take this cover off and see what we got. So I'm going to replace those capacitors right there. These two, one right there and one right there. By the way, they have a slight bolts to them. If they didn't, you could use an ESR meter. I'm going to take this board out and I'll show you how I can test these uh, capacitors with an ESR meter, determine their equivalent series resistance, and I'll compare them to a set of new capacitors. I'll install them in this board, and then I'll fire it back up and demonstrate that the refrigerator works. Before I take this board out, I'm gonna do a demonstration of how temperature affects electrolytic capacitors, particularly when they're failing, and explain why that happens. Okay, notice how this is still clicking. The reason it's clicking is because the capacitors, the electrolyte and the capacitors, of which they rely on for their conductivity and their low equivalent series resistance is dried up. And the colder electrolyte is, the less fluid it is and the less it conducts. So if I heat this up, I'll illustrate how the capacitors will start functioning again, albeit temporarily because the electrolyte becomes effectively more fluid and less viscous. So I'm going to go ahead and heat this up with a hairdryer and you'll see this will stop clicking. Okay, as you can see, it, the clicking has stopped and now this 12 volt line will have started working. Now the compressor has started up and the the display has started has started working. It's warm in the refrigerator because it hasn't been working, but now the display is working as it should. I can hear the compressor running. Now, contrary to that, let's go ahead and cool these capacitors down. And watch the elect as the electrolyte becomes more viscous and less condu conductive. I'm going to use this freeze it spray here on these capacitors. These are the ones that I suspect are bad right here, by the way. These right here. Okay, I've gone ahead and cooled them down. And as you can see, we're back to where we were before. So that illustrates the effect of temperature on electrolytic capacitor failure. Okay, I've got the board out, here it is. And they are the, there's the capacitors right here that are suspect. Well, they're more than suspect because they're bulging. Each one is a 470 microfarad at 35 volts or 25 volts. So let's go ahead and get these out. <coughs> this is a Heiko D solderer. This is what I like to use. For my hobbyist ventures, I'll put a link to this in the video description. I will also put a link to this ESR meter in the video description. 
This makes pretty quick work of removing capacitors. Okay, I've got the bad capacitors out of the board here. And I'm going to do an out of circuit ESR test. This is one of the capacitors. Okay, it's saying an in circuit leaky capacitor with an ESR of greater than 40 ohms. That's horrible. Should be less than 0.5 ohms, I would say, 0.5 or less. This is the other capacitor. It's saying open circuit or low capacitance. So basically this one is an open circuit. So these are definitely bad. Now this is, this is a measurement of a good 470 microfarad capacitor. These are low ESR capacitors for power supplies. So this should give us a good reading. So it's reading 470.5 microfarad. This is a really good meter, I love this. And uh, it's giving us a 0.41 ohm ESR, which means it's going to filter that AC out real well and provide a, a good strong current cap sourcing capability for that 12 volt line. So I'm gonna go ahead and install the, uh, um, some new capacitors in the board and we'll get it in the refrigerator and we'll uh, go ahead and fire it up. Okay, I've got the capacitors in the board, the new capacitors. I'm gonna go ahead and install this board here. And I'm gonna test before putting the cover back on. This power supply should work fine now. By the way, I have a video on every detail of how this board works from top to bottom, describing every circuit and sub-circuit. Please refer to the video in the video description for every aspect of how this uh, control board works. Let's go ahead and plug it in. I just heard the compressor come on. Display works. Now the original complaint here was that when they press the paddle to get ice, the display would go out. That's because the 12 volt line was having a hard time supplying enough current through the relays on the board, which control the ice auger. Now you can hear that when you press this, it works fine. The reason this display goes out, it does that on purpose. It only shows the display when you're interacting with it, but certainly it's not supposed to flash on and off. And before, when you press the dispenser lever, display would actually go up because there just wasn't enough current to go around. So should be fine now. I can hear the compressor running. It's just a matter of time. This should... Hope you found this video interesting and educational. If so, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more videos.